they were very uh, proactive in coming down and trying to resolve all these issues. And during the installation as well, uh, it was very well arranged. Uh, there were not any delays. Hello, hi, I'm Dr. Tiffany. I'm from Dental Designs Clinic. Our clinic is located in the CBD of Singapore. We believe in providing quality dentistry to everybody and in a very safe and comfortable environment. We also utilize the latest technology uh, with the CAT CAM software to provide something like same day crowns with higher standards uh, using good quality materials. Um, and also we have a team of experienced dentists that highly train in the various aspects of dentistry. So uh, we want our clients to feel joy, which is quite unusual for a dental clinic. The experience that most people will tell me is that, oh, I have phobia uh, or I'm scared of the dentist. So for, for us, it was important that uh, when you come into the clinic, you feel different. It's a different experience from what you might have experienced in a previously and you feel joy when you come in. My goal was to uh, ensure there's a comfortable surroundings uh, that when you come in it doesn't feel like a typical dental clinic uh, and you can feel comfortable and relaxed. Also the other thing that uh, we want to um, uh, have our patients feel uh, is trust because we want to be somebody that you can feel safe with uh, and you can put your dental needs um, and health and trust them to us. Yeah. I like to look at the interior design kind of magazines and uh, what's happening in the trends now. Also around our clinic, it's Teluk Ayer. So it's a place where there's very trendy cafes and uh, uh, shops. So, uh, you know, being naturally in the area, uh, we wanted to also be um, providing that sort of uh, uh, feel where it's quite aesthetic. Um, and so when you come in, it doesn't feel like a typical dental clinic. The location that we settled on uh, at Cecil Street, I chose it because of the high ceilings. So when you come in, there's a feeling of airiness, uh, you don't feel so claustrophobic and you can feel very comfortable there. Uh, so also to keep into that same theme of airiness, uh, I knew that I wanted the design of the clinic to be very light. Base, the palette to be very light based, simple and minimalistic as well. The flooring is actually very important because it's one of the surfaces um, you know, to consider. We have the walls, we have the ceiling and the, the flooring. So flooring is, affects the overall aesthetic very much. And in that place, in order to keep that uh, airy feeling I was talking about, we wanted to choose a flooring that was light in colour. But also being um, like a high traffic area, is, I also had to be to make sure that it's low maintenance. And the most important thing is because Cecil Street is actually on the ground level, if it's raining, the water can be tracked in from the shoes. And uh, I had to make sure that it was safe, that it couldn't be slippery when it was wet. Yeah, so that was the important considerations when we were choosing the flooring. Aside from the concern of rainy days, uh, the other concern was to make sure that it was easy to clean uh, and sanitize because uh, it is a medical clinic. So we want to make sure that it is uh, safe and clean for everyone. As a dental clinic, we do, uh, you know, we do have water spraying. Uh, so yeah, we didn't want there to be any hazards from uh, water being on the floor, slipping on the water, that sort of thing. So the key priorities was that it had to be. Um, fitting with the aesthetic of the entire design. Uh, the other aspect was that it had to be um, safe, like I said, the you know, slippage and things like that. Uh, and also in the clinic itself, there were a few uh, challenges. So we had uh, one design for the waiting area, another design for the corridor areas, and another one for the rooms. So all of these had to be uh, seamless to flow with the design. There couldn't be any uh, uneven you know, steps where, we had there, where people could trip. Uh, and also, um, yeah, the... the cleanliness of it, like how, to, how easy it was to maintain, that those were the priorities for us. Uh, so the durability of the flooring was also uh, in, an important consideration for us. Uh, so with Floor Expert, um, the reason why I chose them was because the service was very good, so they were very willing to discuss all the different technical details of what we were looking for and also to provide examples of what it would look like. Because when you look at flooring, you know, like a small square of the sample, you 
it's very hard to visualize how it would look like in a big uh, area. So floor expert was very accommodating in working with us and discussing various aspects of that. So there was a lot to select from. Uh, it was a very big variety. Uh, they have a very nice uh, showroom where you can view all of that. And they also have areas where uh, there's more of the flooring, for examples. So you can really kind of uh, visualize it as well, as well as feel uh, the actual uh, tactile sensation of it. So uh, that, that was uh, really helpful as well, yeah. Uh, so the process of um, the renovation uh, with Floor Expert was very good. Um, so from the initial uh, uh, visit with them where we viewed the samples, they also made the effort to come down to the clinic with the actual samples to visualise how it would look like. There were also a few challenges with the door space. Uh, so the flooring had to be thin enough to fit under the existing uh, frontage of the door. They were very uh, proactive in coming down and trying to resolve all these issues. And during the installation as well, uh, it was very well arranged. Uh, there were not any delays. So with Floor Expert, uh, I'm very happy with um, the result uh, and I would definitely recommend Floor Expert to others uh, for their professionalism and uh, their helpfulness in the whole project.